Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic Cause. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019 and we are doing this problem 17 of your paper. So it's a problem of general aptitude. Let us have a look. Two parallel cords of length 8 cm and 6 cm of circle are separated by a distance of 1 cm. The radius of a circle in centimeter is, alright. So this is what uh, your problem is talking about. We have a circle which have two code, 8 and 6 centimeter, separated by a distance of 1 centimeter. So we have to find out radius. So let us firstly draw the figure. So see if we have two circles like this, what are the possible things that can happen? Let us say this is your center for both the circles. So what can happen is this that one chord lie here and one chord lies somewhere here. Are you getting my point or not? Another thing that can happen is this that both chord lie on the same side. Are you getting my point or not? So because we have two parallel chords so these are the two possible things that can happen. One way is to do this is that it, uh, it can happen that both uh, one chord and another chord are opposite to each other uh, and the center is in between them. Second one is like this that center is on one side and chords are on one side. These are the only two possible cases that can happen. So now let us talk initially about this case what can happen. So it was given to you that the distance between the chords are actually uh, one centimeter all right it's, it's it's one centimeter now because these two are parallel rods what will happen if I will drop a perpendicular from here this perpendicular from here will be same as the perpendicular from here are you getting my point so this line that I am drawing over here is a straight line don't think that it's tilted it's a straight line why is it happening it is happening because uh, these two chords are parallel to each other. So it's a straight line. All right. So now this is one centimeter given to you. Now let us join these two points. All right. Let us consider this as cent center O and let us join these two. So this will be radius. This will be radius. Now what I want to introduce over here is a property of a circle. So the perpendicular from the center to the chord bisects the chord. So it's the property, all right? So if you are drawing a perpendicular from the center to the chord, it is actually going to bisect. Let us say this chord is of length 8 centimeter. What will happen? This thing will be now 4 centimeter because it is going to bisect. The same thing will happen here also because it is 6. So this is going to be 3. Now let us try to see that this is actually a right angle triangle all right both are right angle triangle so it means that you can find your r square by just writing three square plus this distance let us say this distance is h1 all right from this point to this point from this point to this point the distance is h1 and the distance is h2 so this is what you will get as as two conditions all right now what is the relation in between h1 and h2 relation is very simple that h1 plus h2 should should be equal to 1 are you getting my point or not so h1 plus h2 is equal to 1 and uh, we have these two conditions from the Pythagoras theorem now let us try to see that if if I equate these two because both the things are equal to r square I can equate right so 3 square plus h1 square is equal to 4 square plus h2 square now in place of h2 I will replace uh, 1 minus h1 are you getting my point now if, if this is the case what will happen is this that this equation will get simplified all right so we are talking about this equation, alright? You can easily solve this equation. 
so if you will solve this equation what will happen is this that you will get h1 as 4 so do you think h1 can be 4 no it is not possible why because the sum of these two is equal to 1 both are the positive distances so what I want you to do is solve this equation. It's easy. It's all right. It's, it's not even quadratic. It's linear. You will see h1 square is getting cancelled. So from here you will get this. Now h1 is getting 4 which is a contradiction part for this problem. Why it's a contradiction part? Because the sum of the two sides should be 1 and you are, uh, your h1 is 4 that means h2 will be negative. So how can h2 be negative if it is, uh, if it is a length, all right? that means this case is not possible at all this is the incorrect choice all right so this is the catch for the problem you have to choose in between these two figure and you proved that this part is is actually a contradicting your your basic statement from the problem now let us try to solve this part solving this part is easy all right now see we are left with this case all right so now again i am dropping a perpendicular all right so because these lines are parallel because this line and this line are parallel the chords are parallel that is why the single perpendicular will work for both of these all right so this is perpendicular also and this is perpendicular now i will again use the same property uh, perpendicular from the center to the chord bisects the chord so let us say this one bigger one is eight centimeter long so this will be four this is 6 cm long, so it will be 3. All right. Now let us try to find out. Uh, find out what? Find out the radius. We Our aim is to find out the radius. All right. So uh, these are the two radius that we are getting from here. It was given to us that distance in between these two is 1 cm. All right. Distance between the chord is 1 cm given to us let us consider this distance from here to here as h right now see this triangle it's a it's a right angle triangle so using pythagoras we can find out r square so r square will be given by 4 square plus h square in this upper right angle triangle now on the lower one what will happen you will get r square is equal to 3 square plus h not h only h plus 1 whole square all right this is what we will get now just equate these two what you will get is this 4 square plus h square is equal to 3 square plus h square plus 1 square all right so from here what we will get we will get that uh, 7 uh, 9 all right 16 minus 9 is actually 7 so all right uh, I made a mistake while writing this it's h1 h plus 1 whole square all right so you will get h square plus 1 plus 2h. Now h square is cancelled by the h square which is written over here. So you will get your h to be 3. Now because your h is 3, alright from here we are getting because 7 minus 1 is 6 and divided by 2 is 3. So h is 3 that means r will be given by 4 square plus 3 square. So it is 16 plus 9 so it is 25 are you are you getting my point i'm using this equation now so r is 5 this is what we are getting from here all right so this is how you can actually solve this problem third is correct and all other remaining options are false all right so if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video so thank you.